Hello, my name is Tracy Godby and I am here to show you today how to make this fun little floral accent for cards or scrapbooking using some of the close to my heart fabric that we sell right now. And basically what I've done is I've cut a strip of our fabric from the For Always textiles pack. It's roughly about 14 by 1, 1 and a quarter inch. It's not the same size all the way through, and that's okay. I um, basically what I did is I took this little circle of cardstock, okay? I put a nice dollop of liquid glass right in the center. And what I like to do to make this fun little floral accent is kind of add my fabric right into the liquid glass. And the reason I've only put liquid glass right in the center is because it's liquid and it can soak through the fabric, okay? But when you just put it in the center, you have a chance to cover it up with a fun embellishment. So you'll see I'm just kind of overlapping and layering and the size of your flower is going to depend on how wide you cut your ribbon. So if you cut it a little bit narrower, you're going to have a little bit smaller flower. If you cut it a little bit wider, it will be a little bit bigger. So you can cut your fabric the size you need to fill the space that you're working in. Now, because this is a little bit of a bigger flower, I've used pretty much all the fabric. Sometimes when I'm playing, I have leftover fabric, and that is okay too. I just trim it when I'm done. So here you see my little floral accent that I made. And what I do to cover up the liquid glass in the center is add just a, a little bit more, and then put a fun button or a brad or something right in the middle to dress it up and finish it off and that's going to hide all of your wet glass lines because even when it dries you're still going to see that. So that's all I did and like this one you could add it to a card, you could add it to a layout, you could add it to a gift tag or a bag or, or one of those fun paper purses that a lot of people are making right now and now you know how. So I hope that you learned something new and have a great day.